Hello, everybody. Welcome to the POV Podcast. And today, <sighs> I am kind of a little bit lost. Basically, we had one hell of a year for the e feds. One hell of a year for all the virtual wrestling federations, such as HTW, CR Fire Pro, CAWF. And many more feds out there. EOW for crying out loud. And etc. 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 Basically, like this was a good year for the E feds and could be a little bit better. The only reason why I said it could be better is because of all the drama, all the all the fussing and fighting and all the tribalism that's going on in the E Fed community. It could be better. But hey, that was the past. Now we're looking forward to the future. In the future of this of this of the EFA community will be a lot better, stable, and a lot more fun. So I'm going to be talking about what's up to come like what's coming up soon in the zero channel. In this channel, I'm gonna talk to you guys. What's coming up very, very soon. In 2020, NAW is coming back with NAW Turbo. And the NAW New Year's Retribution event. That's always fun to have a New Year's event to celebrate. We're in a new year. We're in a new era of NAW. And then, I owe y'all something from PSPW, I think. Well, I might continue that, but I might, you know, give y'all guys some specials, you know, all that stuff. I owe y'all guys a Christmas special, so I'm going to give y'all guys a Christmas special. Well, it's not Christmas special, it's going to be a holiday special. Known as the 2020. I don't know what to call it, to be honest with you. (laughs) What else is coming up? I might give y'all like a hardcore show. I don't know. But I am literally, literally wanting to do this for the longest. When it gets warmer outside, when it gets to the springtime, it's going to get bloody. I'm going to be hosting the survival tournament. It's going to be a hardcore tournament for all the hardcore wrestlers out there, for all the extremists, for all the the nonstop actions, all the blood and everything. I'm hosting a hardcore tournament sooner or later when it gets warmer outside. You know, in Maryland, because fuck you mean. We're not wrestling in the cold. We're not wrestling in the dome. We're going to wrestle outside, big fella. We're going to wrestle outside. We're going to be hardcore. And that's going to be on Fire Pro Wrestling. Because Fire Pro Wrestling is going to be the show to watch. The, 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 the survival tournament. The tournament of survival. I don't know what the name is. It's going to be one of those names, okay? And I know one person that will be excited for this. No, actually two people. I might be excited for this tournament, for this announcement. I don't, I'm not going to tell you who, but I know they're going to want to be inside this tournament. For Lionheart Wrestling, Call Talk will, will continue. I might have a Call Talk sooner or later. We're basically, you know, I think Call Talk, it's not going to be a podcast, okay? Call Talk, call, call talk is not going to be a podcast. It's probably going to be just a little episodic talk to random calls in the Lionheart Wrestling roster or maybe above the roster and we just talk about what's to come and we're going to be in character. We're not going to be out of character. We're going to be in character. I don't know how, if it's going to be like just 10 minutes of call talk, talking to a call, talking to somebody in, in character. And, like, you know, it's because I want entertainment, okay? I want to do something entertaining, you know? 
it's going to be probably just typed and you read it, or is it going to be either voice acted probably. I, I, I want to do a call talk, you know, talk to some, you know, wrestlers in the EFA community in character and basically just, you know, have a little fun with it. Because who doesn't want to have a little fun with a little being yourself, being in character, all that stuff. I already released Call Talk episode one. That was, you know, the day after. Um, I think, I think, I think that was the day after. Like it was basically just after Final Flight. I mean, not Final Flight. After inaugural event, Lionheart Wrestling inaugural, we had a Call Talk. I made the logo. So, haha, fuck you. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna do call talk. I'm gonna call talk going to return in 2020. Well, I might do another call talk before the New Year's. But yeah, call talk. That's something. What's next on the list? Hmm. I'm gonna do a Q and A soon. Maybe after this episode. Maybe in the episode. I'm just running out all the questions so I could do one. I could maybe I might do one video with answering all the questions that's in your mind with me, with the creator himself, Mal. And you know, dang, it's hot in this joint. I'm wearing my onesie, okay? But yeah, so I might write all the questions, I'll answer them. What's next? Um. Oh my God, it's a lot of things I want to do in 2020. 2020 is gonna be the year of the E Fez. 2020 is gonna be the year of the Zero Brand. 2020 is gonna be the year of the Be the E Fed Champion. The E Fed Champion. What does that mean? Be the E Fed Champion. Because y'all guys are. Because I'll be honest with you, the winner of this is you. The winner is you. Y'all guys are the reason why I keep doing this. The e Podcast is the reason why I want to do this podcast again and have fun with it this time. Basically, I just want to do a lot of things in 2020. I want to do interviews. I want to do, you know, talk to not just promoters, but other e wrestlers and stuff like that. Out of character, you know, just get a little insight on how they feel about being in e and sort of stuff. And then maybe we could do a call talk with... The interviewer, I don't know, I don't know what the motherfucker name is, but with the interviewer and the wrestler, we, 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 we might have the same, blah, 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 blah. we might have the same voice. I don't, I, I don't care. It's, it's just, it's a little um mystery that would never be solved. Okay, why does he have the same voice? Why does Kano have the same voice as Troy? Why does Troy have the same voice as Tasmania? It's a mystery. Okay. It's a mystery that would never be solved. Just like Finals of Freddy's. The little lock box that never be open. Cause some things best kept secret. Anyways. <clears throat> so I think I could give y'all guys my favorite. Well, I want to talk to you guys about some shows I've been watching. Today is Monday, the 30th. And I watched CR Fire Pro Big Event. The Cold Dawn Big Event. Very good show. I love it. Master of the Night, Kai Jen vs. Life. That was a true wrestling match. That all e feds must pay attention to. That's how you do a wrestling match. You don't just spam moves. You do professional wrestling. You do it because it's a sport. You do it because it's the thing. It's the it's the hot topic. Instead of boxing or kickboxing, it's professional wrestling's grappling and striking and just going mat wrestling. Like oh my god, it's just it's a good match. That is a five star classic. That should be, and that's that's if I do a rating system to, like in twenty twenty, if I do like a little Dave Meltzer of of Efeds, that would be one of my top matches that I would say go watch it. Just just go watch it. I want to give you an explanation. I'm just tell you just go watch it, cause that's the thing you need to do. Cr Fire Pro, a good promotion. Y'all need to check him out. So he's a very cool dude. He's a very good promoter. 
Go check him out for crying out loud. He needs to be having 100 subscribers for crying out loud. If I have 100 subscribers, he needs 100 subscribers. On life, because life loses the title, which is wild. On life's life, he needs 100 plus subscribers by the end of 2020. Cause this, cause 2020 is gonna be his, gonna be his year soon. I watched CWF, the End Game event. It was really good. The main event was a 40 man rumble. Predictable, well not predictable, cause I was literally on my, I was literally on my um bed. Like what the hell, Tommy Ventura. Tommy Ventura, I think his name is, about to win the freaking final countdown. He didn't, but he showed the fuck up. He showed up. He was like, I'm not losing this. I want to be a single star. I already become three-time tag team champions. I ain't going to lose this, my guy. But guess what? He lost, but he showed up. He became, he made me a believer. I hate Mr. USA with a passion. I hate Armageddon with a passion. Them two mofos should never win a damn world title again. <laughs> but hey, my nightmare came true. Armageddon wins the CAWF World Heavyweight title for a third time. Now, I think it was the third time. Was it? Yes, it was. Now, I'm going to go hang myself because, God damn it, why that boy need to win the title? <laughs> okay, I, I, I got done hanging myself, but damn, man, like, come on. It's some politics going on in the backstage or something. Why is Armageddon becoming a three-time champion? My God, like, Jesus. That was an open, you know, that, was a, that little break was an open thing for y'all to answer the question, but okay, no answer the question. Jesus, man, like, come on, man. Death had a good run. No, he didn't. He had a bad run. I think Death was the worst champion of them all. <laughs> well, he was the most promising champion because he, cause he won it at October. How ironic. And then he lost it in December and Christmas season and the New Year season. Why? He should at least held it for, like, I don't know, five more reigns, and then lose, the, then drop the title at like Reign of Champions or the next Revolution, make him become a dominant champion, or hell, I don't know. My boy Shiki came back. My boy Kano returned, but I'm more. But when I saw Sheik, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, my boy Shiki came back. He should wear tights this time. <laughs> tights and some boots. But Jesus. Shiki's back. I'm happy for him. He looks very good. But god damn it. He didn't win the damn rumble. Ah. My back. But yeah. So. It was a pretty good two nights of wrestling. And we still got two more shows to go. We got WCC. Well, I got well, I got three shows I need to watch. Wrestling Cup Classics, Against All Odds, Pay Per View, Twitch Preview. I gotta watch that and give you my honest opinion about it soon. And then I gotta watch World Championship Calls, Seasons Beating Event. I gotta watch that. It's in two parts, so it shouldn't be long. Then tomorrow, I gotta watch the end of the world, humble talent wrestling end of the world. That sounds like a good card. I swear to God, they these motherfuckers, ugh, three shows featuring rumbles. Ugh, oh my God, bruh. That should this should be a very interesting show. We start off with a rumble and we end with a title match. Why can't the rumble be the last? But that's, but that's my opinion. I think the rumble's last on the end of the world. I don't know. Oh, well. 
Uh, so, hey, Jesus Christ, man. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Boom, boom, boom. But anyways, so I don't know what I want to do now. Because at the end, because at the end of the day, it's like one of the questions that I was asked was like I'm gonna give you a little spoiler. One of the questions was, "What are the efeds you want to make or ideas of efeds?" I'm gonna answer that question today, and I'm gonna answer that question either tomorrow once I get more questions. I'm gonna give you guys a little teaser of what I'm about to say. I kind of don't have any ideas for new efeds. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to explain it probably in another video because I need some more content for the damn channel. <laughs> I'm going to call it Q&A with M. With double ML. But yeah, basically... I don't have any ideas for other efeds. Well, I, I, well, I'll be honest with you. I kind of have one, but I really don't. I'm gonna answer that soon, just not now. But one thing I would like to say is that when it comes down to efeds, you gotta have a concept for it first. You gotta have your end goal for them efeds. You gotta have this. You gotta have that. You got to have something that makes the efed stand out. When it comes to making an efed or federation or, or wrestler, you got to stand out from the rest. For example, my man's Kano. Kano is a psychopath. He's like a Brian Pillman mixed with John Moxley hardcore. But the thing that makes him stand out is that he's kind of not that hardcore. He likes, he will use hardcore tactics, but he's not a hardcore wrestler. So that makes him stand out from a John Moxley. John Moxley is a hardcore wrestler. Brian Pillman is a professional wrestler. He's not a hardcore wrestler. So he's a mix between a hardcore wrestler and a non-hardcore wrestler, but with the same psychopathic style. Who else? Um, Troy, Troy Blackwell, my my um two K character. Troy, he's he's basically my Joy Janella. But again, take out the hardcore from him. He he's a really good professional wrestler. He wants to show that he's a good pro, good pro wrestler, but he but he but he, but he, he could also be a little bit hardcore. Tasmania. Tasmania is not mixed with anybody. He's kind of like, my, well, he kind of is something. He's, he has a Shingo Takage type feel because his little lariat. Because his lariat. His lariat is too, too, is too powerful. But again, he's not a Shingo Takage. He's not the dragon. He's just a damn beast of a wrestler. He's, he's like a tank. He's like a light heavyweight tank. He fights powerful. He hits hard. But he but he he's not that strong style. He just is American style. But he kind of can be strong style when it comes to certain things. Anyways. Um what else? But the E fed. You want to stand out from everybody. With the character, same thing. Stand out from everybody. Because at the end of the day, it's just what to do. What the hell did I just say? At the end of the day, pro wrestling is pro wrestling. And, you, and everybody wants to be like this, like that. For example, some fans want to be able to be like the WWE. Some feds want to be like TNA. I don't know why. You crazy. But some feds want to be like a New Japan. I don't blame them. I really don't blame them. 
Some people want to be like a John Cena. Some people want to be like a Randy Orton. Some people want to be like a John Moxley, for crying out loud. But I don't blame them. It's just the fact that try to have your own taste. Thing, some things I don't like about some fans is that, like, with some characters, is that, like, they literally want to have their, like, when I see on Wrestling Amino, all I see is copy paste people. Like they have an original name, but with the non original last name, like such and such Moxley, or such and such Cena, or such and such Styles, or, or AJ Punk, for crying out loud. I'm like, what the hell is this? That's not original. That's just a copy paste character. When I try to be original, on Amino, people want to get on my throat, but or they just don't really care for me. When I'm trying to be different, they don't want to. They don't want. They, they they just don't like it. Text feds are cool, but I don't get text feds. On the boards, the boards are more. The boards, at least they 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 they're kind of more original. Because the characters be different. In the boards, there's role plays and then there's, you know, hybrids or something like that. Or angle phase, I meant to say. It's just, I want to learn more about angle phase. I want to learn more about role play phase. So, one day on my podcast, I'm going to get somebody from one of them. Or maybe get the big dog himself, Mikey Unlikely into this podcast and we could just talk about the difference between a 2k fed and then a um without 2k fed a fire pro fed a 2k fed and a board fed and we could talk about what the hell is going on <laughs> with them damn things <laughs> which one do you like more which one do you like least which one do you wish to be different how would you see this or something like that. Even though they already ha- talked about it with the OCW fit, um, OCW podcast. You know that podcast is lit. I love it. But I want to talk to people who basically wants to, you know, chat. The reason why I made this podcast is to literally talk. Now, let me take a swig of this goddamn Gatorade. (sighs) Refreshing. I should drink water more, even though I do. But I just really want to talk to... to, The reason why I made the podcast is to talk about EFEDs. Main thing. Like, that's the main thing I want to do is talk about EFEDs. Because EFEDs are fun. They are a hobby. They the reason why we want to become wrestlers. We can actually become wrestlers without wrestling. It's a hobby. You can make money out of it if you want to. But hey. That's what we want to do. That's what it, that's what it is. You want to make something original? Be original. You make something happen. We want to become wrestlers, but we can't have but but we either we either, but we either don't have the money for it or we don't have the same drive. So we decided so so we decided to do this hobby just to be in the community. And there's a large community surrounding it. EFES is the thing. Anyways, oh boy, this is probably a short episode, so I can get ready to watch WCC, both of them, Wrestling Cup Classic, and World Championship Calls, so I can literally keep up with them too. It's crazy, because I watch more E-Fit Wrestling there than real wrestling, that's, that's, that's a damn shame. I love professional wrestling, but E-Fit Wrestling is just, they just take my heart, man. They, they stole my heart. 
So that's what I'm about to do. Get a do, get a do. And my back hurts. Damn it. But I think I'm gonna end this episode right now. And and wait for wait to get more questions and all that stuff. But that's just my little two cents, my little words I want to talk about. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Hopefully I, you know, let's enlighten you a little bit. Might return tomorrow. So yeah. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Ciao. Hopefully tomorrow I get more motivation.